Instagram has been like a major part of my life. I remember when I was a kid, my elder brother used to keep some notes where he writes all the films he's watched. And I remember stumbling into it and I continued when he went to school to write the names of the films I'd watched. And after a couple of years, I noticed I'd written like three or four 40 days exercise book. If you remember those Olympic exercise books, I'd written four of them. So I started screenwriting, um, let me see, via my blog. Because when I was blogging, there was the audience interaction thing, which I pretty much enjoyed on tommyaddition.wordpress.com. So after that enjoyment with my audience and telling stories, there was the, you know, the test and hunger for visualization of what I was doing. So I got the opportunity to get into screenwriting, which I started in my final year, but not actively. Um, film, my film journey actually started like 2018, I mean 2013, there about. Uh, I started filmmaking way back in primary school, but I never knew what filmmaking was till I finished uh, from filmmaking school uh, by Tunde Kilani, mainframe from Media Institute. So, um, I never got any professional training until I applied for home video. I, I can't remember how I said I think I ran, it, I ran into it online or something. We moved, I moved into Abuja after a few years with Mo and I worked part-time with Sebari. And she was consulting for home video then. And she said to me, Chris, this award is going on. Why don't you just write and see what comes up? And I used to write my, most my cheesy stories back then. I started to write a story. And I wrote a story called Anytime, which I think is very popular compared to who I am. If she can't grab things as fast as her mates, does that make her less a person? You're supposed to be helping her. With all due respect, I've tried my best for your daughter. So I wrote the story like two days or three days after my wedding. And I wrote it because I just felt I wanted to express myself and I sent it in for home video. And I got a call. I remember that very funny day I was driving back to Kanu from Abuja with a friend of mine, Dafe. And I got a call from a guy called Samu Mejaku and he said, um, is this Chris? I said, yes. I said, I want to just inform you that your story has been selected as the best child-friendly story. I wrote and submitted on the last day, which was August 1st, to that last year. Then a night, I just received a call from Mr. Samu that, uh, hello, DG, you're part of the... When I got the call that I got, I was, I was really happy because I didn't expect it. I did not think my script was good enough to be picked in the first place. And then going for the workshop, meeting like minds. Um, at first, I was intimidated because most of the people that were there had people that had done a lot of stuff and had not done anything. But it was good to know that um, part of my voice was being heard. Um, home video was life changing because from there on out, I decided to stick to filmmaking. You know. That was when I made the decision that I was not leaving this filmmaking space. The workshop was um, enlightening from Mildred, from Ram Sinoa, from Mr. Chris, from Mr. Sam Uche, from Mr. Ayes. Coming in contact with Home Vida has really moved my writing career to a whole new level. I mean, Home Vida brought that recognition. People began to value my skill as a writer and people began to reckon with it and people were willing to pay for it. Before I came in contact with Home Vida, I was just learning, I was just learning the art of storytelling. I was I was studying a lot. The first time I wrote for Home Vida, I actually didn't win. So I was pushed to meet certain people and say, okay, read my story and tell me what I did wrong. What didn't I get right? What did I miss the structure? Am I not getting the structure right? After this award and after the, the training and everything that I got from being with Home Vida, and not just that, even the networks, because attending the award, we met, I met a lot of people. So I would say it's been a very, very good improvement for myself and many other writers who have come to the ranks of um, Home Vida, because thankfully, it's a workshop that you can learn from. And they do follow up, actually, because I mean, someone has still have my phone number. And he knew when I published the book, and he obviously did the quotes for it too. So it's it's, it's pretty much been a, a blessing, and I'm I'm very thankful for it. That was the first um, um, jury I would be part of. That would be the first film training um, um, engagement I was going to get as a trainer. That was the first. In fact, most of the people I work with today, like the film I'm making right now, living in bondage, I have like close to five, six people I met through Home Video who are working with me presently. In fact, I think that um, I can I can officially be called the the, the ITF, Industrial Training Fund, 
of home vida because literally when you get trained in home vida you can't work with chris to show that you have been trained you know so and i i really think i benefited in that way apart from the fact that they they've constantly pushed me out you know with all the blog promotions and all those things they've literally pushed me and even seeing them become a better brand get involved with unodc google us usaid and all those all those top um, sensors board film and video sensors board chris is a delight to work with and when you find a person like that you know you're talking about someone with very strong um, human capital. You know, with the, with the minds, with the young minds that I met, we've done a lot of stuff like film, documentaries and all. And uh, the project I'm currently working on, two of my friends that I met there are also part of the project, doing big for the project. So I think Omvida actually did a lot for me as a filmmaker, as a young filmmaker. And uh... A couple of people, we developed a story and during the workshop and it was like, we were just we were doing one of the classes and we developed a story. and. Myself and Michael and Yoyo, who were in the class with us, decided to, to make a film about it. Or they decided and they kind of invited me to produce it. So I produced, um, Michael directed, and um, I think Yoyo was the lead. Sagaloyo! So, um, so the, this concept of the film was developed in the home video class. So we made the film and we screened it at the award night, which is amazing. So it was screened alongside the other films that I won. So, so there are two major jobs I've done after home video. The first are two short films that I wrote for an international organization in Canada. The most exciting for me is Make Room! And the person that, that produced the movie was someone I met during the Home Video Awards. And he just, we, we were talking and he said, do you have any future length film that you would love to pitch? And I said, yes. So I just pitched Make Room. I made a short film with um, Tunde Apalawa, who was also the workshop. Um, it, it screened in uh, festivals here and it screened in the States as well. That was my first short film. So, but in terms of writing, I've written feature films for directors which are still in production right now. So we got, uh, I think the biggest thing I'm working, I've worked on or I'm still working on is Living in Bondage right now with Ramsey and, and Mr. Chris and Steve Goodcast. And it was, it's, 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 it's amazing because I got to be, I'm production coordinator, so I got to be part of the process from the scripting to the pre-production to now we are shooting and everything. So this is the biggest opportunity so far. And it's thanks to Mr. Chris, who I also met at home with that. <laughs> so, so he, he saw potential and hired me to do this job. And I'm passionate about God and my family, but one that I'm passionate about is young people. Right now, I'm making a film called Living in Bondage, the sequel of the classic. And it's, it's a no-brainer for me to want to attract all the experienced hands in the world and bring the strongest producers, the strongest directors, the strongest... You know, but I find myself bringing young hands together. Because I believe that there is so much that can come out of a virgin land. You know, when something is, is starting, it has a... like an oil well, it, it has higher capacity, it has higher uh, releases, higher supplies, you know. So I, I really think that we cannot undermine the place young people play in this creative industry. And I'm passionate about employing young people. I believe that young people have what it takes to change an industry like ours, take it to the next level, to push creativity a bar higher. Since after Umbe, I've been on also, also the TV series. Then I recently wrote for Akunde, which uh, got me an NBC. I'm from Malaysia. Lagos. My city never sleeps. Why are you, huh? Why are you telling us something we can't afford? There's an alternative. Just recently come to the NBC, and then it's obviously what got me the AMA award. Uh, of course, there's some other shows that I've written on, but most of them are in pre production or production phases, so most of them are not allowed to like really talk too much about it. But for the ones I can talk about, let's say hustle, let's say. Um, I have a dream. Abed, stand up now. Why are you sleeping like this? Come down, come carry your moving job. 
My second bag is not there. Wait, what is my business with the second bag? Who took it? Hustle. Akunde, then uh, I've, written, I've got my own short films too, of which one won a real time award. That's the other meet was on autism. So, um, off the back of Om Vida, there's been improvements and then there's obviously been growth and progress so far. An organization like Google took interest in a young person like me and believed in my dreams and my, and my skills enough to give me a platform to express myself. So I want to say that organizations like this should be extremely proud of themselves and know that they are doing exceptional work. The works they are funding, the things they are, they are, they are supporting is impacting lives far beyond even what they have re recorded on their monitoring and evaluation scheme. Okay, so first things first, what I would say is thank you, um, Google and USAID. Yes, they gave me an opportunity to start up my career. I would like to say thank you to them. Thank you for believing in young filmmakers. Thank you for encouraging us to make films. You, you can't put a value on, on the things we, you, we've gained from. We can't value the things we've gained from this workshop. So there's, we can't thank these organizations enough. USAID, Google, USAID, Google and... Thank you, Google, very much. I'm <laughs> grateful for the platform and the opportunity to to have done something and of course it was a social impact thing so I, I know that it obviously has its pros very thankful for that because it's a big deal when you're able to tell people something that they should be mindful of you know not many parents are able to know what their kids have been exposed to so the platform of having the internet and being able to monitor these things I think it's pretty much you know it's pretty much cool and I'm thankful for the opportunity I've been able to put my story out there using that network very greatly I would say thank you very much and don't stop doing what you're doing. Just keep keep making it bigger and bigger so that more people will get opportunities to learn every year. So I would appreciate if they do more because not everybody knows about this program that they are organizing for young um, filmmakers. Well, first of all, I want to thank Home Vida for the opportunities they gave me. You don't know how interesting it is writing my bio and putting Home Vida award winner, blah, 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 blah. It is really cool. So I want to thank them for that opportunity. I also want to thank um, the organizations that funded the different categories. And I want to say Home Vida should keep doing what they're doing, keep encouraging, keep encouraging young filmmakers, young storytellers, young screenwriters. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Google. Like, your organization has transformed a life that is affecting hundreds and soon to be thousands and millions of girls. So much is happening here in Kano because of your investment in me. 